Hello, welcome to season three, season two, Universal Alpha. Oh, wow, I failed. Season two, Universal Orlando Cup Series here at Papyrus for race number nine of the season. On the pole is Anthony McCurry. Second is Noah Hart. Um, fourth is Alan Cavanaro. Third, Chris Dollarton. Uh, fifth, Austin LaPlante. Sixth, Dougie Shears. Uh, Some Balix May. Eighth is Daniel Day. Ninth is Daniel Voyles. And completing the top ten is Cody Lamas. Now let's take you to the rest. Of the starting lineup here at Papyrus. And this should be quite interesting. Oops. Here we go. Here's a lump on back. That's a look at your starting lineup. And um, there we go. Yeah, you have to have Curry. Still got plenty of time. Um, I do want to mention, though, Papyrus is a very, very interesting check. Now, there is some good passing around, and I'll tell you something, too, is that, um, you know, mostly you got to go on the left side there. If you hear anything in the background, that's uh, GTA in the background. I apologize for that. Um, anyway, uh, what else? Nothing really much to talk about. Uh, the cup race, uh, the winner from that one, uh, who was it? If I can look through here, maybe I can remember. Um, oh yeah, Citadino. Starts way towards the back, around the 37th position. So, Citadino got a lot of work to do there if he wants to win his third race of the season. We already got two-time winner for both series and stuff. The Outback one came just this race as the command to start their engines has just been given. Uh, been given. And we'll see who does not start in the race. And... All 42 are going. Will Goss and Brad Johnson will be starting in the final row. And... Uh, Oh, wow. Uh, let me get this um, thing on GTA real quickly and then, uh, you know, get ready to do the race. I'm sorry for that. I just I just got off something there and, yeah. 20. Wow. I got a lot of money. 24 grand. Okay. Anyway. As the pace car is going to dive down the pit road. Right now, Anthony McCurry, the big road course Real course racer here is going to lead them down to the field. Noah Hart second, Chris Dollar to third, Al Cavanaugh fourth, and Austin the plant between the top five. Green flag is out for Anthony McCurry. One thing about uh, Papyrus here, you got to make sure you stay in the right line when it comes. And if you don't go in the right line, well, you're going to get screwed. The one place you really don't want to be in most of the time is the middle, because the plant is going to go from. To second right now, and Alex May, how about him? He got a very good qualifying effort, and we'll see how he'll, how the South Point uh, Chevrolet will do. Here's the flyby uh, camera angle here. Alex May doing the worst out of all Twinx, not doing really well at all, and he's really looking for something good there. So went the wrong camera angle, and he almost scraped the wall. How about Zach Buchanan, who was towards the middle of the field in points? Now with that uh, run that he had at Riki, he really got some points gained in, and this really helped him out. So, the people who really got helped the most out of it was was him, Shelton, Citadino, and who was the other one? As I look at the back here, uh, it'll probably come back to me. Yes, here's the back of the field. New paint scheme for the 20. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops game stop for James Qualls. And um, there's Citadino there. Um, who was it? Um... Michael Norman. Um, looking through the field here, just to. Oh, yeah, Devin Becker. That was who the other one was. Becker driving the Dunkin' Donuts paint scheme this time. I guarantee you, the Becker's going to have a lot of paint schemes, and we'll definitely be seeing them. How about Seth Cole trying to get around Dougie Shears here? He's very get the ticker up hit too. Seth Cole in the pitch perfect uh, Chevrolet. And he's trying to get the pass, and, well, can't get it done, but. Seth, whoa, with his teammate almost getting into him. 
And that was a close call there. And, oh, we got a wreck. Cavanaugh, Dunham, Cole, Daly, and oh, here we go. Pile up, it begins. The, oh my god! Poteet is flipped. And there's oh my god. I think that's Michael Norman that's got toppled. Goss flipped. Oh my god, they just stacked up. Caution's out. And it looks like Chris Dollarton in the 16th is going to lead them down to the stripe. On lap two, we have a huge pileup. Holy cow, I have never seen this before at Papyrus. And Dollarton will lead them down the stripe. McCurry second, LaPlante third. Buchanan fourth. Boyles fifth. May sixth. Shears seventh. Day eighth. No heart ninth. The complete top ten is young. See all the um, casualties in this race. Pegdahl. Um, that's uh, Sanford. Citadino, the previous race winner. He won't make it three wins. Willis. Demax. Erickson. Johnson. Thomas. Norman sits on pit road. Posey sits on pit road. Dunham on pit road. Cavanaro on pit road. Erickson. Richie involved. I know Spillman got a little piece of it. Anthony Emery. Oh, James Qualls heavy damage. James a little bit of damage. Richards with damage. McNamara, Washer. Thomas. Oh, they stacked up. The 9 and the 52 and the 17 and 22. Oh, my God. Lamas, I think he just got that now. Oh, oh no, that was six skin turn and Spillman. Oh God, six a dutta. Now the twenty is more damage. What the hell happened? Let's see any others. Dally, Becker, Will Goss. Let's see. Um, Sir Fox with damage. Spillman is mentioned. My God, what happened? About 13 cars are damage free. Oh my God, that destroyed half the field. Caution's out. The first time today is we're on lap three. Caution came out on lap two. Let's take a look what happened. Well, we're back, and this is like what happened in the Outback race, except a little different. Dunno's going to get into Kevin Yarrow, and Kevin Yarrow saw it just try to get through, and then Dunham just squeezed him in there, and uh, both of them are going to go around. Poti is the first easily victim. Nowhere to go. And same with his teammate, Seth. Dally, a good friend. There's 17. Thomas. Then there's Lamas. <laughs> Thomas and Lamas, they rhyme. Sheldon, Jackson, and Hernandez make it through. There's Poti and Becker. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Holy crap. There's three three cars. Goss, Becker, and Poti. And then another car that flipped. That was Norman. Holy crap, the 31 and 78 just got destroyed there. See from a... Uh, see in the helicopter view real quickly. Oops. I'm going to go to... Um, yeah, here's Poti. Let's just stay with him. Man, that, that track got blocked, and I don't know how Shelton... Jackson and Hernandez made it through. And then the door got shut for Demax, and then just everyone's. Oh, they wrecked behind too. Let's, let's quickly take a look. I saw Richie there. Let's rewind it just a little. Oh, oh. Okay, so they were going four wide here with Washer, Thomas, Emery, and Sanford. Sanford's going to scrape the wall. And that sends Emery into Thomas because of that chain reaction from that. Teammates right there. And then Thomas just... Mm, nowhere to go. And then, unfortunately, Richie's going to get innocent victim. Norman. Citadino. McNamara. And then, oh, they're sliding into that. And then Citadino actually plowed both uh, Becker and Poti. Or not... Uh, that's uh, Norman, excuse me. Or Goss, excuse me. My bad. Oh, I can't even figure out who it was. But look at that track is blocked, blocked from here to here. So you basically, if you try to come into here, you're basically a sitting duck. Let's take a few onboards of this uh, wreck. Let's go with uh, Will Goss in the 25. Tough break for the um, Quick and Loans car, by the way. Let's 
go on board Wheel Gus. It comes to rest on his roof. Let's take another on board with someone here. Let's go with Becker on board the Dunkin' Donuts Chevrolet. Oh man, what a hit. And Becker, he lands on four wheels. Let's go on board with um, Dylan Pote. We'll go on board with one other person in a flyby. Let's go on board. Here's Pote. Each. Yeah, you can see right there just Donovan, Cavanero, and Pote. Bam. Then all hell's gonna break loose for him. He landed on a few cars there. Um, let's see here, through here. Let's go on board with um, Citadino. He was the one who plowed on board Citadino. The Captain Morgan Chevrolet. Oh my goodness, that's 17. Jeez. All right, now let's take a flyby here of um, the wreck. So. Sorry about the phone going off there. Going weird there. Um. Get the phone call in just a moment. Let's get it from uh, go about to here. Yeah, let's go right here. Perfect. All right. We'll fly by this, and here we go. Here's a flyby of the wreck. You're gonna see. Man, just those cars that flipped there. Holy cow. All right. There's a replay of all the, of that wreck. Let's take it back to the green. Welcome back as uh, a lot of drivers are out of the race. And we had to strap me 10 laps to go. Will Goss, John Cedino, Michael Norman, Eugene Max, Charles Sanford, Devin Becker, My, uh, Michael Hegdahl, Cole Daly, Alan Cavanero, Trendom, Dylan Poteet, uh, Ashley Willis, uh, Andrea Erickson, Brad Johnson, Anthony Reggie, James Silverfox, James Qualls, Seth Cole, and Jack Richards are all out of the race. 23 cars remain. Pace car is going to make a dive down the pit road right now. Top 10 rundown as follows. There's Chris Dollarton, Anthony McCurry, Austin LaPlante, Zach Buchanan, Daniel Voiles, Alex May, Dougie Shears, uh, Daniel Day, Noah Hart, and Dylan Young completes the top 10. Top 20, Jessica Sheldon, Luis Hernandez, Charles Jackson, Ryan Richards, Cody Lamas, Ian Dutta, uh, Kyle Thomas, John McNamara, and Clint Spillman, and Chris Washer complete the top 20 is, and then the top 23 is um, Emery, Thomas, and James. Anyway, green flag's back out. Maybe down to 13 cars for the win, and I'll tell you something, Alex May lost both his teammates in that wreck, and I'll tell you something, he's got to carry the Tweenix uh, banner for the, for the races. Whoa, look at the interesting move he did there, and Ethan McCurry getting under fire from Dougie Shears as McCurry slaps the wall. Oh, that's not what McCurry needed right there. Meanwhile, as Dougie Shears got around Anthony McCurry, he's trying to get around Zach Buchanan, got a little too close there, and I think that was for position number four, and actually it's position number three. But look at that. Lost in the plant, moved to second. Chris Dollarton trying to look for his first 
official uh, NRSL Universal Atlanta Cup Series victory. So, this would be good. Both drivers are rookies. And here comes LaPlante to the NSFL League. Actually, the top four are rookies. Or actually, let's take a look here. The top, let's see. The top six for rookies. You know, but Dylan Young just got around next. Wait, where's McCurry? I saw him earlier. There he is. Okay, I was wondering if I passed him or anything. I'll tell you one thing, that two wasn't around, it'd be the whole top ten. Because that next car that's in there that's the top ten is um, Shelton. And then the next veteran would be Charles Jackson. Then Noah Hart. Oh, and Dutta scrapes the wall. You know, out of this field, you know, looking at all the veterans, there's about... Five veterans left that are in this race right now, but the rest are rookies. As Dougie Shears got around Zach Buchanan for second, or actually for Austin LaPlante for second, and Buchanan got around him as well. But Dougie Shears looking for his first win. He's going to go to the inside of Chris Dollarton for the lead. Looks like it's going to be a four-car show right now unless McCurry can find a way to... Oh, never mind. McCurry's like falling back like a rock. Dougie Shears to the inside for the lead. The Reese Chevrolet, he's got it. Buchanan trying to follow. And he's going to try to peek, and he will, but here we go to that right-hander here. Here we go to the right-hander, two by two. And unfortunately, Buchanan's going to get the short end of that one, and then Dollarton's going to try to retake second. But look at Buchanan getting moved to the uh, left side there, and he's going to slap the wall. Here comes D. Young. Daniel Day, and how about Luis Hernandez? He's been struggling the entire season. He's now uh, in the top 10, finally. He is now in the 8th spot. Alex May is in 9th, and Curry fell back at 10th there. Sheldon's been hanging around 11th there, too. And so far, the top 3 now have been pulling away from Zach Buchanan, who slapped the wall there in the extend Chevrolet. Dougie Shears trying to win his first... Actually, the whole entire top top four have not won a race yet and they all are rookies here comes Dollarton back to the lead he will do it he will take the lead Austin the plant says I'm gonna follow you excuse me I had a yawn there for a moment and the plant has got the second spot in the green and red farm rich car Zach Buchanan here comes Daniel Day and just going a little slower then Daniel Day, I think he's going to let him go. Then again, never mind. How about Mayonnaise? Charles Jackson hanging around the top 15. He's doing really good right now in the FedEx, FedEx Express. Cody Cameron, I think someone slapped the wall. I think that was Daniel Voiles. Yes, it was Voiles. And look at the power move by Charles Jackson. Getting around Voiles and trying to get around Hart in the high line. Oh, man, what a power move the 11 had. He will do it. And it was actually Hart who slapped the wall. Both sides he's damaged. And how about Jessica Sheldon now? She's moving up. And now they're working on Buchanan. And actually, they're, they actually caught up to um, Dollarton a little bit. But now Dollarton's trying to pull away. But they caught up more to second. Buchanan back in the mix. Here comes Daniel Day in the 14, the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Stuart Haas. We know uh, Spillman's involved, but he's still in the field. Where's he at? There he is, and Erickson's out. Penske's got both their car, uh, both the 22 and the 2, and they're the 12s out of the race. Hendricks down to, let's see, the 24 and the 5, and I believe the 48 is in the field somewhere. Yep, there he is. I don't know how he's, uh, oh yeah, he's got the left side damage. For Roush, uh, the 6 car in the 16. Front row, the 34. Roush, yeah, the 6 is still there. The 99, uh, 17. Pretty much everyone in Roush is still there, except they're damaged. Uh, 
Dougie Shears is a single car team. Buchanan is a single car team. Uh, how about Hernandez and um, him and Dunham? Uh, Dunham's out of the race. Alex May, like I mentioned, for Tweenix. Shelton. Uh, Hagdahl's out. Becker's out and Sanford's out, so she's carrying the RCR flat matter. And then Gibbs. Jackson is there. I don't see the 18 anywhere. Norman, neither of the 20 of Qualls. That's right, he's out. Uh, Thomas is still around. Voiles is still around. Patty Enterprise is still around as well. Richards got kicked up there. And then Hart's uh, part of the single team as well. Dylan Young working on Daniel Day. Sorry about that there. Dougie Shears has scraped the wall. The Reese's Chevrolet scraping the wall. Dollar Ten and Buchanan working on them. The plant's closing in too. The best car that's out there today has got to be Chris Dollar in the 16. Trying to get the side draft going. Trying to get the... Oh, oh he's peeking. He's going to go in. To the inside for the lead, Chris Dollarton trying to retake the lead from Dougie Shears. Dougie trying to take the lead off this turn, trying to lead the lap. Buchanan's with him on the draft, and Dollarton will lead at the stripe. Top three pull, trying to pull away from fourth. The plant says, nope, not so fast, I'm coming. And how about that black, black deuce, the Monster Energy Ford? Dylan Young with the left side damage. He's still there. And Hernandez and May and Shelton. Sixth, seventh, and eighth. These three really need it bad. Well, actually, Shelton's actually in the top 15 points. So Shelton, well, she would love another good run, but these two really need it. Hernandez and May. They're both in the way bottom of the points. Look at Jackson trying to get around McCurry. And Jackson's going to slap the wall. That's what Voiles wanted to see, and same with Daniel Day. And what happened? I think Day slapped the wall, too. You see the other stragglers there. Dota trying to get around Anthony Emery for, I believe that's the uh, 17th position, I believe. Brian James there. Thomas. Spillman. Washer. And Kyle Thomas. And... Come on now. There we go. Chris Dollarton. Zach Buchanan, Dougie Shears, Austin the Plant, and Dylan Young, the top five, have pulled ahead from the pack. And the next card that's behind there is uh, Luis Hernandez. We got three laps to go, and the frame rate's like going low. I have no idea why. But uh, we're going to take this quick commercial break so that way the frame rate thing could uh, get back to normal, and we'll take it back to live action. Welcome back. You haven't missed much. We got the frame rate back working there. I apologize for that. Uh, Problem there. I guess it was just going low for no apparent reason. But uh, anyway, Chris Dollarton is still your leader, and uh, Dougie Shears in second. Uh, Buchanan and LaPlante are bound for the third spot. LaPlante had it before. Uh, or actually, wow, I'm failing. Buchanan's actually falling back. He's trying to hold on to the third. Trying to now retake second from Dougie Shears. This is what Dollarton would like to see right now. And Dylan Young has officially caught up into the back. It's now a five car battle for the win. And then you got 6, Alex May, 7, Jessica Sheldon, 8, Anthony McCurry, 9, Luis Hernandez, and I think he may have slapped the wall. Yes, he did. And 10th is Daniel Boyles, and then 11th is Charles Jackson, 12th, Daniel Day, 13th, No Hart, 14th, McNamara, 16th, Lamas, or I think it was 15th, Lamas. Yeah, 15th, Lamas, my mistake. Uh, 16th, Richards, 17th, Dutta, 18th, Emery, 19th, James. 20th Thomas, 21st Spillman, 22nd Washer, 23rd Thomas. And that's it. 23 cars as mentioned from before. They summit Alex May trying to close down on that lead pack. Same with Shelton. But basically, look at this. A three-car train. Now Dougie Shears is going to try to go to the right side and can't get it done. Best thing to do is just stay tucked in the draft and wait for a better turn. Because this is not a good turn to be passing people. And Dollarton almost hit the wall. That would have costed him the win. But here comes Dougie Shears to the lead. To the lead goes Dougie. Oh, he lost the throttle on that one. I don't know what happened there. Dollarton's going to get the advantage off that one. He's going to try to pull ahead from Dougie. Buchanan and LaPlante and Young are just trying to catch up. And May, I don't think he's going to have enough time there. 
A little too far back there for the 51. Let's take a look quickly at the fastest lap, and it was the 14 of Daniel Day, the 113-190. A very fast lap, still towards the back. Tough break for the 14. Here we go. Chris Dalton's going to lead them down. White flag is out for the 16. Dougie Shears trying to do whatever he can to hunt down the 16. If anyone's going to stop Dollarton, it's possibly the 21. Buchanan, even though he's damaged on both sides, I don't think him and LaPlante, I don't think they're going to have enough time. Dougie Shears possible, is the possible best shot to hunt down Dollarton. Here we go, to the right-hander. Dougie Shears, if I were him, just stay in line, wait for that move to come. You can see, yeah, they're both going about the same speed. But Dougie Shears has just gotten closer to Dollarton. Almost, he almost scraped the wall. Shears. Few more turns to go. Time is running out for the 21 Reese Chevrolet. And he's actually gotten even closer to Dollarton. Trying to get that inside advantage. Here we go. Heading towards the long straightaway here. Shears. It's just him and Shears. Dollarton and Shears. But I don't think Shears is going to have enough time to go for the lead. Coming off the final turn. Chris Dollarton trying to hold off Dougie Shears, trying to get Roush his first win of the season. Shears is going to take the inside for the lead, but it's not going to be enough. Chris Dollarton has just won his first career Intercell Up Universal Orlando Cup Series race. Second was Shears, then Buchanan. Got third, LaPlante fourth, Young fifth, May got sixth. That's his best finish. Seventh was Sheldon, eighth, McCurry. The pole sitter, ninth, Hernandez. And completing the top ten is Daniel Boyles. Lump Jackson, 12th day, 13th heart, 14th, Lamas, 15th, McNamara, 16th, Dutta, 17th, Emery, Ryan Richards, 18th, 19th, James, 20th was Annie Thomas, 21st, Clint Spillman, 22nd is going to be Chris Washer when he crossed the stripe, 23rd, and the last car on the track is Kyle Thomas. But Chris Dollarton going to be your winner. And many cars, like we mentioned, out of the race from 24th on down. So, thank you guys for watching this race. We're done with Papyrus. Next stop will be Atlanta, and there will be the next check for Comet Rules. So, make sure you comment two out of five races. That's required from six through ten. So, out of the race weekend of six through ten, comment at least two of them. It could be, you know, race six and seven, or six and eight, six and nine, six and ten. Uh, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this race, be sure to give it a like. Comment beneath. Uh... To keep your eyes subscribed to be a part of the NRSL the, and all of its uh, updates and stuff. And um, Pyrus is over, like I mentioned. Next stop, Atlanta, and hopefully Atlanta will be a shit fest. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Papyrus weekend. We're out of the NR NR Tesla 3's headquarters, and uh, we're now heading to a popular Atlanta track. We'll see you guys later. Here come the official results of the race, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Here come the results.